I thought I'd just do a quick video review of the new Chrome 13 beta which has been out for a few days but I've only downloaded it yesterday. It's got two new features. The first is a print preview so obviously you don't have to copy and paste lots of uh, words into you know, Word if you want to know how it's going to print out. And the second one is you can now do this thing called Instapages where the first result on a Google search preloads so hopefully it will come up quicker than before. So if I just show you how to get to it first. Just type in Chrome Beta. First result, get Google Chrome. And I'll just show you that I've got the newest one. Just so about Google Chrome. 13.0.782.24 um, is the newest one as of the 19th of June. It will probably come out into release candidate in the next few weeks because they do release them really quickly. So if I just show you the first two features, let's say you've got the Daily Mail. We're going to click on an article, and then if you want to know how this would uh, print out, we have to do is go into the tools section, press print, it will load the preview, and that's how it would print out, which is quite good. Um, I know some of the other browsers have had this feature for a while now, but at least Chrome has it now. And then you can obviously change, for example, where you send it which page numbers you want, so you can say like, only page 2 or I want page 3 and 7 or I want pages 3, 2, 5 and you know 7, 2, 9 um, so that that will, that will get rid of all of them, so it starts at page 3 as you can see and then 4 then 5 then it jumps to 7 so that's quite good uh, then obviously how many copies you want portrait or landscape, so if I click on landscape just load that copy and then you can even choose if you want to print it you know what the print preview will be in color or black or white so that's the first feature and the second one is the pages so if I go on for example by Cradar <coughs> That took a few seconds to load, still hasn't finished anything. But if I then go on Google and then and then type in bikeradar.com, hopefully it should load quite a lot quicker. So you see that was slightly quicker, it's definitely quicker on the uh, text the video is still quite slow but I mean that's okay so if we then do for example Amazon so if you type in Amazon loads quite quickly but then if we type in Amazon on here loads slightly quicker I probably wouldn't say it's instant, but it's definitely quicker if you you know search it via Google. So that's the you know that is a good new feature. But some could argue obviously that you if you didn't actually want the first result, you wanted the second or third, it might waste your bandwidth if you, if you have uh, limited uh, downloads. So you may have to make sure that you want that feature before you um, download this beta. So yeah, um, I still recommend Chrome anyway, just because it's um, really fast anyway. I mean, it's a, I think it's the fastest browser. Yeah, yeah, obviously you can put like your bookmarks up here which anyone can do you've got like the uh, incognito thing it's a good, it's a very good browser and I would recommend um, updating to Chrome 13 beta if you can just because it doesn't seem to have, have any bugs it seems to be perfectly fine obviously you get new features as well